Science is a tough one because a lot of people feel very intimidated by science. There is this stereotype of scientists locked away in their laboratories or of being so shockingly brilliant that they can't even talk to, to real people, <laughs> the rest of us. But I've found, and there are scientists like that, but I've also found that scientists are also, once you get past this facade that that they have to maintain because they're in academics or whatever. They are real people and the reason they become scientists is because they're just passionate about learning new things and discovering new things about our planet. And one of the things that made me go into science writing a bit um, initially was I realized, you know, there are enough scientists to save the planet, but if nobody understands what those scientists know, it's not going to make a difference because politicians are not elected by scientists. They are elected by the general public. If the general public doesn't understand enough science to recognize how quickly the earth is deteriorating or how we need to manage our natural resources, they're not going to hold politicians accountable for making a responsible decisions that protect resources not only for our generation but for future generations. So my goal from the very get-go was to help transmit this knowledge that scientists had to the general public and in such a way that wasn't intimidating. Now have I achieved that? I'm not sure. I hope so because you know one thing the real key point for scientists or for young people is to have someone introduce them to it. And yet parents and teachers often feel like, well, how can I share science with young people? I don't know how to do this because I don't know any science. Well, but one of the beauties of science books, especially for young people, is you don't have to have any prior knowledge of science to share and discover. Kids, you can sit down with a five-year-old and read them a book like teeth or you know whatever the topic happens to be and you can learn in that process along with them and so one of the goals I've always had is to make accessible science books for young people and the other thing uh, in education that I believe is changing slowly and I hope changes much more rapidly is science has always been considered this subject over here you know, it's like, oh, it's a specialty. You know, if we have time to get to it, we'll go look at it. But what kids really need to know is reading and writing and math, which is true to some extent. They do need to know those things. But science is not this thing over here. Science is part of everything we are and everything we do. It affects our economy. It affects our relationships. It affects what we want to eat. It affects who we're attracted to in life. Every aspect of our lives is part of science. And so understanding science to me is understanding ourselves. And my wish for teachers is to not just pick a cutesy little fiction picture book to teach reading and writing, pick up a science book and you use that to teach literacy. Right away they're going to grab all these reluctant readers who never wanted to read before. But also it'll start imparting this sense among children that science is not something unattainable or unapproachable. It's part of everyday life. And so if I've achieved anything in my career, it's the hope that I've written books that are being picked up by people who've never picked up a science book before and who want to, dis to share that sense of discovery with young people.